today i will discuss sequences in topological spaces you all know about real sequences today i am going to introduce you sequence in any set let x be a non empty set then the mapping s from the set of natural numbers n to x is said to be a sequence in x and is denoted by image of each natural number under s that is s of n or for our convenience we it, we denoted by sn subscript here n let sn be a sequence in a set x then sequence sn is said to be eventually in a subset a of x if and only if there exists a natural number n not such that sn belongs to a for every L, n greater than or equal to n not that means except finite number of terms infinitely many terms of the sequence are belonging to set a that is here s1 s2 sn not minus 1 these terms are not belonging to a but after that uh, those terms all the terms of the sequence are belonging to a then we say that sn is eventually in set a and sn is said to be frequently in a subset a of x if and only if for each natural number m there exists a natural number n and greater than or equal to m such that sn belongs to a that means for every natural number we can get some natural number such that corresponding term belongs to set a here we note that if a sequence is eventually in a set then it is also frequently in that set let us consider an example consider the set of uh, real numbers r then the identity mapping i from the set of natural numbers n to the set of real numbers r defined by i of n is equal to n for every n belongs to n is a sequence in r as you all know consider subsets q that is the set of all rational numbers and set a containing 2 4 6 8 8 of r then we observe that the sequence i n is eventually in q why because i n belongs to q for all n greater than or equal to 1 all the terms of the sequence are belonging to q so sequence is eventually in q but sequence is not eventually in a why because we cannot find any natural number n not such that i n belongs to a for all n greater than or equal to n not so sequence is not eventually in a but we can say that sequence is frequently in set a because if m is any odd natural number then we know that i m that is equal to m doesn't belong to a but we can find a natural number m plus 1 which is an even natural number and so i m plus 1 belongs to a and so we can say that sequence is frequently in set a as sequence is eventually in q so it is also frequently in q so this sequence i n is frequently in both the set q and a as we have defined a sequence in any set similarly we can define a sequence in a topological space now i am going to introduce you convergence of a sequence in a topological space a sequence sn in a topological space xt is said to converge to a point s not in x if and only if it is eventually in each neighborhood of s not and we say that s not is a limit point of the sequence and we write sn converges to s not as we all know that an open set containing s not is also a neighborhood of s not and if 
that open set contains infinitely many terms of the sequence um, except finite number of terms then the neighborhood will contain infinitely many terms of the sequence except finite number of terms so it is sufficient to say that a sequence converges to s not if and only if it is eventually in each open set containing s not and then that s not is a limit point of the sequence now we have another definition that s and p a sequence in a topological space xt a point s not in x is said to be a cluster point of sequence sn in x if and only if sequence is frequently in every neighborhood of s not as we know that if sequence is eventually in any set then sequence is also uh, frequently in that set so it follows from the definitions of limit points and cluster points of a sequence in a topological space that any limit point of a sequence is also a cluster point but cluster point need not be a limit point now we shall consider a problem and consider set x containing set a b c and topology t consisting of phi x singleton set a and doubleton set a p we have to find limit points and cluster points of the sequence sn uh, containing a b a b a means alternating terms are a and p now we have to find limit point we here we know that the point a is not a limit point of the sequence sn as sn is not eventually in the neighborhood singleton a of a because we cannot find any natural number n not such that sn belongs to singleton set a for all n greater than or equal to n not and so we can say that a is not a limit point of the sequence the open neighborhoods of point b are doubleton a b and set x and both contain all the terms of the sequence and so sequence sn is eventually in each neighborhood of b so b is the limit point of sequence sn and the only open neighborhood of point c is set x which contains all the terms of the sequence so c is a limit point of sn and since b and c are limit points so they are also cluster point of the sequence and as the sequence sn is frequently in the open neighborhood singleton a of a so a is also a cluster point of a sequence let us consider another problem let t be the cofinite topology on the set n of natural numbers then we have to find limit points of the sequence x n uh, containing 1 3 5 7 that is odd natural numbers here uh, we know that t contains phi and all those subsets of n whose um, complements are finite sets now consider a natural number n not and let m be an open neighborhood of n not then we know that complement of m is a finite set then m contains all points of n except a finite number of points say m1 f2 m3 f2 mn of n let m star is equal to maximum of m1 m2 up to mn then we can say that there exists m star in n such that xn belongs to m for all n greater than m star and so n not is a limit point of sequence xn hence every natural number is a limit point of xn because we have taken n not any arbitrary natural number and so um, in here we can say that every natural number is a limit point of xn earlier 
uh, when you have studied uh, real sequences, you have seen that any sequence converges to a unique limit. But here we find that a sequence may converge to infinitely many points. Now I am giving you a home assignment. Let T be the cofinite topology on the set N of natural numbers. Then find limit points and cluster points of the sequence T N containing 1, 2, 1, 2. Alternately, terms are 1 and 2. Thank you.